Welcome to page one of your Excel packet. Today we're going to be studying the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane allows us to plot points on a flat surface. Let's take a look at the parts of a coordinate plane. Let's start with the x-axis. We know that the x-axis runs east and west on our flat surface, known as a coordinate plane. Whenever you see this axis, please label it with an x. You will also notice, if we take a look at the origin here, to the right of the origin, all the values on the x-axis are positive. And if you move to the left of the origin, all the values are negative. As you are given different x coordinates, if they are positive in value, you will move to the right on the coordinate plane. But if they are negative in value, you will move to the left on the coordinate plane. Please make sure you have this horizontal line labeled X and you also have a positive symbol to the right and a negative symbol to the left. Now, let's move on and look at our Y axis. The Y axis runs north and south on our coordinate plane. You will notice that the values above the origin are positive. So we know if we're given a positive Y coordinate, we will move up. Please label this your Y axis with a Y. Go back to the origin and notice below the origin, these Y values have, are negative. And if you are given a negative y value, you will move down the coordinate plane. Now let's put the two together in what is called an ordered pair. An ordered pair is made up of two parts. An x coordinate, that's your first value, and your x is always given first. That's your x-coordinate. And then, given second, is your y-coordinate. When you put these two values together, you can plot a point on the coordinate plane. We'll get to that in a moment. But let's take a look at an important term here, the origin. You've heard me mention it several times already, but let's talk about the origin. The ordered pair that represents the origin is 0, 0. It is located right here where the x and the y intersect. When you're plotting points, you should always place your pencil at the origin and start there. The x-coordinate, when you're given an x, will control your movement to the left or to the right. And your y-coordinate will control your movement either up or down. Now just a few more things before we start plotting our first points. Your coordinate plane is broken into quadrants four parts. We label those four parts with Roman numerals and when we label them we move counterclockwise. This first quadrant is called quadrant one. Label it with a Roman numeral. Quadrant two, quadrant three, and finally, using a Roman numeral, quadrant four. It's tradition. Let's start plotting some points. 
Points are named with capital letters. Let's start with the letter Z. We're going to be given an ordered pair and we are going to plot it. Let's start with the ordered pair positive 3, negative 2. That means the first coordinate, the x, controls our sideways movement, and the second coordinate controls our movement up or down. Place your pencil on the origin, and let's move sideways first in a positive direction. One, two, three to the right, but the negative two indicates we should go down two units, one, two. Put a nice point right there to represent that location. Not only should you label it with the letter Z, you should also label the ordered pair next to the letter. Let's try a couple more. Let's go with capital Y, point Y. We're going to move negative 4 to the left, but then we're going to go up 5. Once again, place your pencil point at the origin and move to the left, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now our second number in the ordered pair is a positive 5. So go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a nice solid dot to represent that location on the coordinate plane. And right next to that dot, label it with the letter Y and label the ordered pair next to the letter. Now let's try one more before we conclude this basic video. Let's call this point W. We're going to make this point negative 7 to the left 7 units and then negative 4. Here we go. Placing your pencil point on the origin. Let's go 7 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over to negative 7, and then down negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Place a nice solid point at negative 7, negative 4, and we know right next to that we're going to label W, negative 7, negative 4. This concludes just a basic introduction to the coordinate plane. Turn the page and we'll plot a few more points together.